There's something about it being summer that makes me want to do tags, so I'm gonna do another one today. This is the Let's Have an Adventure tag. It was created by Lisa from Decaffeinated Books, and I was tagged to do it by Joe from Final Blow Joe. And it's a short, sweet tag about going on an adventure, so let's do this. Question number one is we need a map. Where are we going to go? Pick a book with a map in it. I am going to push aside all of my usual default answers and I chose a map that I had to tear my house apart to find. I was actually down in the basement pulling boxes out, rummaging through them, going, where did I put this thing? And then I came upstairs and I found it safely tucked away on a bookshelf because of course, and that's this thing right here. There's a story behind this. When I was a young teenager, actually from about ages nine to 15, I had a lot of pen pals and one of my pen pals shared some obsessions with me. Our primary one was of course Lord of the Rings because from 99 to 2003, it was all about Lord of the Rings. But before we really got into Lord of the Rings, we were both obsessed with the Redwall books by Brian Jakes. And one of the times, the handful of times that I got to meet her in person, she gave me a Redwall map and it's big, like, whoa, it's big. Now, I haven't read the Redwall books in a very long time. Uh, I don't own any new copies and I don't know if there's any tie-in media, but to the best of my knowledge, there is no huge map of the Redwall world. This is a map that my friend created after reading many of the original books and she drew it all by hand. Like, the whole thing is drawn by hand. It's amazing. So, this is where we're gonna go on our adventure. Question number two is supplies. What two books would you bring? One to read and one to burn when it gets cold at night. I like how practical this is. <laughs> To read, I would just grab Lord Darcy by Randall Garrett because it's a pretty big book. There are a lot of starting and stopping points, which I think I would probably need while traveling, you know? So short story collections are probably good for that. It's also very long, and I feel like with that large of a map, this adventure would take a while, so I would need a very big book to take with me. To burn. This would be an excellent question for what book you hate so much you would burn. And I have a couple of books I've read that I would actually throw on a bonfire, but I don't own any of them. So I figure if this is about creating a really big, long-lasting fire, I just pick a really big book that I don't really need. So we're gonna go with the American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language, fourth edition which is really heavy. I don't know if this is actually the biggest book that I own, but it's gotta be the heaviest. I haven't used a physical dictionary in probably a decade, so that's expendable. Question number three is we got lost, which if you're going on an adventure with me and we don't have GPS, it's a very likely possibility. <laughs> So we, we need some help. Uh, pick a character who could possibly help, you know, help you get home. Uh, I picked a duo. I picked Nita and Kit from the Young Wizard series by Diane Duane because these two teenagers routinely go very, very far away from home. Very far away from home. Sometimes even to other universes and yet they always know where they are and they always make it back home. Also, they have some really helpful like geolocator spells and things like that. They're very precise. It's like, it's seriously the magical version of GPS, so I just wanna invite them on the entire adventure. Question number four is something along the lines of, oh hey, there are people over there, we should invite them to join us or something like that. Tag three people to do this. I love how this is the second to last question so you can't really skip tagging people. Well-designed tag. Uh, I'm going to tag Nicole from Dorkabrain, Frankie Reads, and Mark from Mark's Bookmarked Books. I always stumble over saying that. I have to practice that. The last question, number five, is going home. What song do you pick to listen to on your way home? Uh, so this is very road trip style. I can't imagine listening to my MP3 player in the Redwall universe, but alternate Redwall universe, of course. I'm gonna pick the song that I've been listening to on repeat the most recently. I don't listen to a lot of music, but I do listen to the radio when I'm driving, 
This song I have never heard on the radio because it's not that popular, but it's I'll Call For You by Kyla Lagrange, Lagrange, I don't know how to say that, which actually I think would make a very good song to play over the end credits of a movie. So that's it.